Hey everyone, in today's Photoshop video, I wanna show you how to add borders to any image in Photoshop. And I wanna show you two different ways, a really fast way that most people use and a very professional way that doesn't really cut into your image. Let's jump into Photoshop here. And if you don't have the latest version, I always have a free trial link to the latest version of Photoshop in the descriptions of all my videos. And I do have a full complete course for beginners on Photoshop for everything on Photoshop. So that will be in the description below as well. Let's jump in here. And here inside of Photoshop, I just opened my image and you see it's locked. So if I double click on this layer, it's gonna let me name the layer. I'll just name it dogs here and I'll press okay. So I usually unlock the layer for the very first option. Now in order to add a border, I could double click on this layer and use our layer style panel and use stroke. You see this option? Click this on, check this on here and select it. And with stroke, you could go ahead and change the position of the stroke to be on the inside and that typically makes your border appear here. Now I'm going to change the size here. You can make it as big or as small as you want and change the color down here. Click this box and I'll do white so you could see it a little bit better and I'll press OK. So that's the option with colors and you have all these different colors to choose from. So any color imaginable here, you could make your border that color and you could come back here and reduce the size. Now if I press OK, I could always make sure this effect could be checked on and off. And if I reduce the size of this image, let's say on my canvas here, I have other images, that border will remain with resizing this image. So that's one way to do this. I'll go ahead and delete that layer style right here and I'll show you the second way to do it. Let's go ahead and clear layer style. Okay, so we're back to square one. Now the first thing you wanna do here is we need to make this the background again because the option I'm gonna show you requires this to be classified as a background layer. To do that, select your layer and come up over here to layer, new, and then choose background from layer. That basically brings it back to how we started with this lock icon and it's now classified as a background layer. So now what we need to do is we need to change our canvas size because with the stroke, it actually cut into our image. We lost a little bit of our image here. If we don't want that, this is our professional option to change our border. So let's go to image this time and go to canvas size. And I'm gonna change mine to pixels here. I like pixels better, but you could leave it on inches if you work in inches. But basically all I'm trying to do is I wanna add some pixels for the width and the height. So right now it's 1920. I'm just gonna add 100 pixels to that. So I'm just gonna type in a new number 220. Now you could see if that's big enough for you, but typically I start with 100 pixels. If I change my mind, I'll come back here and change this number. Same for the height is 1440, I'll change it to 1540. So I'm adding basically 100 pixels to the sides and to the top and bottom. And anchor, I'm gonna leave it right here. But right here, canvas extension color. If this is gray for you, that means your layer is not a background layer. So make sure you do that so this becomes available. And you could add a white border, a black border, a gray border, or you could choose any color over here and get this back here. So I'll just leave it on white and I'll press OK. And look what happens. Just like that, you got a border, but outside of the canvas, so it's not cutting into your image. The stroke option I showed you, the easy option, cuts into the image. This creates the border on the outside by creating a bigger canvas for your image. So this is one way to do it. And anytime I could come back here again to image, go to canvas size, and let me change it to pixels again. And let's say I wanna reduce it. I'll take away 50 pixels this time. And same with this, 1490. I just subtracted 50 pixel on width and the height. And I'll press okay and proceed. And you could see it took care of it for me. So now this is a smaller border. So it's that simple to reduce the border size with this canvas option. And those are the two of the best ways to add a border to any image in Photoshop. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for easy to follow Photoshop and other creative tool videos on this channel and I'll see you next time.